Yo, what is up, guys? I'm literally just waking up. I just decided to make this video now because I feel like this is the best time for me. Um, I okay, didn't want to make this video, but at the same time, like, I was getting asked by uh, a couple of people over like what's going on. So you guys already know what I'm about to talk about. Maybe there's a big content creator who posted a video like recently. Wait. So he posted a video recently saying something like, oh, this is probably this person. Because he was like getting um, 1v2'd in a ranked match. Which I don't blame him. It's pretty hard uh, to win games solo against like stacks. But at the same time, like... Um... He kept getting out like lantern by uh, like a, a strong lantern, but I know who it was who he played up against, and that person definitely does not cheat. And that's like me. That's someone that actually like I know who it is. We're not like I don't even like that person, but like I'm still not about it. Just because I don't like someone, I'm not about to say oh that guy cheats. Blah blah blah. He goes by like Aurora Symphony. He's a PC player. But yeah, that literally was not me. And he basically started saying like, oh, he uploads. So what I'm trying to get to is I see ended up saying like, oh, this guy uploads to YouTube. He's on an alt account and he's recently been exposed for cheating. But I'm not going to say who it is, right? And... And people in the comments were saying me, right? Like, they're like, yo, we know you're talking about Helios. Oh, bro, why are you, like, dissing him? Etc. And he would respond with, like, oh, bro, they, but I didn't mention any names. Like, bro, you don't have to mention any, someone, right? Like, like, we know who you're talking about. I don't know. I just found that weird. Like, I, like, I respect this dude. Like, I respect this man. And, I, like, I, I still don't have issues with him. Like, even with that, I just want to, like, clear things up. Because at the end of the day, this man is a bigger content creator than me. This man is known more. I just don't want like false information like be going around type shit. Like there's a difference from when people s accuse me of something to, to like a big content creator saying like, oh he yeah he he got exposed 100%. He cheated when like. I'm dead here when that wasn't even what happened like I never understood how people just don't talk to the source and just like actually find out what what is going on and just talking like crazy so basically two or three months ago um, some female that was part of our group and they're up spreading lies about me just because uh, I low-key didn't... I'm going to be real, man. My group was toxic as hell. Uh, people that played us in ranks know about it. They would always just like non-stop shit talk, etc. Like, I knew shit like that is wrong because I'm like i a content creator. I shouldn't just be toxic 24-7 in ranks, just shit talking people. And... That's something that I wanted to get away from for so long, but I just couldn't because I was just in a bad environment. And I'm not about to blame anyone. That's literally just on me having pe bad people around. So I like keep in mind I've been friends with these guys for like five plus years. Almost half of them, five like seven. It was like at the same time it's like hard to move away from that, right? But it came it came a time at the end of last year where I was like you know what if I low-key want to keep doing this gear side stuff I want to I want to move away from all that negative energy and just be with people with great intentions be around with people who actually like support me and know what's good for me and are able to tell me yo this is bad this is wrong like this is wrong or this is okay to do like I just don't want to like I don't want yes men around me like, please, if 
I, if I'm wrong, I want people to tell me I'm doing shit wrong. Oh yeah, uh, while I was moving away, this person didn't like that I, I was pushing them away. And as well, I was like moving on. I ended up getting someone that actually, that actually cares for me. Except like... So... So while all that happened, she started just like going left and right, just posting a bunch of negative shit about me. Which I, if you really think about it and you go through all that stuff, it's not really like bad. Like, I think, um, like she pulled up screenshots of me shit talking back when I was like younger, fucking three, four, four years ago. But yeah, she posted screenshots like four or five years ago when I was, when I was still like growing and She's trying to use it against me all with like literally no context at all trying to paint me as a, a bad person as well with posting like i ain't gonna lie man no one and everyone knows gears is actually like it brings the worst out of everyone and that's something that i've been trying to fix like whenever uh shit goes bad on the game i like would get mad and shit and People like, let's be real, man. Everyone does it. Everyone rages at this game. So what this person did was every single time I would rage, and it wasn't like me like being extremely fucking like going over the line type shit of toxic. I was just getting under like, bro, hate your shots, bro. How are you missing? Shit like that, you know? But this person recorded all of that and posted it in one, like literally made a montage of me doing that and be like, oh, yo, this is how I get treated, etc. Like, bro. Like, I don't know, shit like that was just getting posted. And, uh, one of the one of the big things though is she started saying shit like, oh, this person cheats. So she was like accusing me of cheating and spreading like false info. Like if I'm if I'm a person that actually like made cheats and gave them off to the community. And Everyone ran with it. Everyone from Twitter was running with it. Like the story, like, oh, oh, we knew. Oh, this. They were like, oh, we knew about this. People were just siding with her. With my story not even being said or anything. They just, I don't know. It's one of those things where people just, I knew this guy was going to wait for me. Like people didn't even care about the truth. They just wanted to hear that and just run with the story. I've literally, I've, that into, when that situation happened, I've gotten zero DMs from people wondering if that shit was real or fake. But it's all good, man. Um, I feel like I've already tried proving my innocence. Like, I shared my files mid-game whenever I was recording. After a game, after I went off, I played on Xbox with mouse and keyboard and still performed the same way. Like I was saying before the other match ended, um, my bad if I'm like all over the place, I'm doing this commentary live, so I am playing the game and at the same time talking and I'm not really good at that. So I'll probably repeat things or say shit that doesn't even make like much sense. So where I, I think where I left off on the other match was me saying that in the past I've uploaded videos of me playing on, I've sh like. There would be times where I'd be hitting crazy stuff with the sniper. And whenever the match ended, I would start showing my task manager, my game files, my, all my open files. And there will be nothing there. Which I've been saying so many times. Like, I have nothing to hide. Like, I literally... it's It went to the point where I got on Xbox and still performed the same way I do on... No way, I almost died. I still perform the same way that I do on PC, but the only difference though is whenever I played on Xbox, um, my mouse has like a delay because of like input delay type shit. So, like I'll I'll still be I was still hitting shit with Ball Talk though. Um, like all that all those all those videos are posted on all those videos are posted on my YouTube. 
Like, you, you literally just, you guys just gotta search them. I literally also have videos of me just playing on controller. Same thing. I will be hitting the same type of shit. I don't know what that guy's doing. Like, it's, I also told, um, because I was talking to a pro player. I, I'm not sure if I should mention them. I don't know if they want to be mentioned. But it's a pro player that you guys already know. That you guys know. I'm not talking about the one that talked about me on the YouTube video. I'm talking about a different one. But I talked to him. I was like, yo, the, please don't believe anything that is being said. It's just false rumors because this person doesn't want to be, like, pushed away. Oh my god, I lived. Stop. It's not that serious. I promise you. I promise you. Stop, 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 stop. No way. But yeah, I told that pro player. I said, yo, listen. If it comes down to it, I am down to try this one program that is used for COD players when they get accused of cheating. Which is like something that runs... Which it like... It runs something on your PC where... It basically shows all your files you've opened before in the past and on your PC. So like, let's just say you open up Gears, it'll tell you you open up Gears on this day. If you open up a notepad, if you open up a program, it shows when it was open. Even when you delete that program, it still has a history behind it. I said, yo, listen, I could literally run that tool and show you guys the history of it. Like, I have nothing to hide. But even then, <laughs> I'm still, you know. And I do get comments like, bro, just switch to fucking full Xbox controller. Like, bro, it's not that. People, literally, majority of all the pro players play on PC with more frames than me. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? This guy literally wants me so bad. Let's Like, you literally have all these pro players uploading videos that are playing over 200 FPS on low settings, trying to get every adventure they can with FPS. But I'm the issue just because I play the same way, the same platform as they do on PC, but I just use MK. And I do, and I have seen comments of people saying, bro, why do you play Gears on MK when it's not, when it's not a keyboard game or a PC game? When in reality, like it's, you guys might not want to hear this, but Gears of War One, the one that came out in 2007, not the one that the Ultimate Edition, but the first Gears of War game did come out on PC. And the only reason why it didn't come, Gears Two didn't come out on PC, is because no one, not that many people, bought the Gears One PC version. So just imagine, and that was a time where people literally didn't have PCs. So that entire thing of people saying, "Oh, Gears is a." Xbox game, like, uh, I don't know about that, man. Here's the one that did come out on PC. That's all I can say. Like, the whole point of this video is me just, like, I'm kind of upset how this person low-key didn't really come to me or, like, try to know what happened on the situation. Like, if the person was even, like, they didn't even try to find out if the person that said these things was lying or anything like that. They just ran with the story. I know uh, a lot of people would say something like, yo, if that person was your friend for that long, why why would she spread lies, bro? Listen, I'm not like... I, I'm not trying to be like on some controversial shit, man, but majority of the times when, when you try to push a female away and they don't want to leave, they're going to spread shit for you from you. They will start spreading false shit. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I whenever, whenever that entire situation was happening, I did DM the person. I was like, "Yo, why are you doing this type of thing? Like, why are you trying to make me look bad?" And their response was oh i don't care about the Jewish community i don't care what happens i don't care about anything i was like dude but you're literally spreading false information oh that's that's on the gears community's fault for uh not reading shit correctly that's not what i meant you're 
I didn't try to say that you're cheating. It's just blah, blah, blah. So this person literally said false shit, said things like incorrectly and didn't even, they didn't even want to like correct themselves. I ain't gonna lie though, that, that entire situation that happened kind of opened my eyes because it pointed me out who who actually didn't like like the fakes. Like it pointed out who was fake and who wasn't. Damn, that's right. Dude, they all want sniper. I believe the only person that actually came up and told me like messaged me if all that shit was real was Slotums. That was the only person that actually came up to me and wanted to know the full story. Damn, I tried to update this kid and it just didn't work. And we lost sniper just like that. And if people still don't believe me, man, I've started streaming gears. You could find me at fucking twitch.tv slash helios. And my playstyle will not change. One thing that will change are the opponents because I am I will definitely get stream sniped when I stream. It's happened in the past and I definitely will be getting more stream sniped the more I stream. I try. I don't know what this guy's doing. No way you die there. I can said. Wait, how is this kid not dead? Oh, he's dead. Where did he drop instantly? He jumped on right here. Bro, there's one thing I suck at is throwing instants for sure. I'll probably watch this video back and try to like cut pieces to make it make sense. Make it like not sound weird unless I want to just keep it raw, the vid, and just not really cut anything of how I say things. But yeah, man, I'm going to end off the video here. I do, I will come forward and say from the entire shit that person was posting the only thing that was true was me back then being toxic as fuck like and i blame myself for it i hang i i was hanging around with just nothing but toxic people which a lot of you guys have been asking yo why don't you guys play with why don't you play with your same squad why don't you play with Quee, etc i'm moving away from all that i and there wasn't a better time and the beginning of the year if you guys didn't know like before even she even posted any of that you guys could see back a few uploads and you seen i was playing solo because i just did, i was starting to move away from all that and what actually helped a lot was the new year's and i will be trying my best to not disappoint anyone anymore and just be myself hang around with nothing but positive people and actually change from what I was back then like just toxic and negative to just being positive and I know there's gonna be people that won't believe me but like at the end of the day I can't change everyone's opinion um people could believe whatever they want the main reason why I was making this is it is different from people thinking to someone that is extremely bigger than me and has a bigger audience and telling them that this pay hey, this person cheats when that's not even the case so i'm just here to clear things off this is the last time i'll be doing something like this and we're just going to be moving on and people like i'm saying people can think what they want you can support me or not i'm still going to do me i know what i'm doing isn't wrong Hopefully you guys made it this far into the video. And I'm out.